Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Panda Palette update for you. I have a lot of things here. You know, when I went through my collection and gathered everything, I was like, this is actually quite a lot. And let me tell you, the update is huge. It's not like empty, 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 but it's still a lot to talk about. So we're gonna get started with, I think, the most exciting thing. If you've seen my um, Colourpop Project Pan update, I will link that in the card. It's empty, it's done. Uh, my goal was to hit pan on this one, which I did, and this one, I actually hit pan on it. And then when I used it again and I tapped it off, the whole shadow fell into the trash can. So, this is empty. It's fully gone. It's like, I will not keep the palette, you know, I was thinking about keeping it and then maybe taking on vacation, because it is really cute. It has the mirror as well, it has nine pans, it's magnetic. No. No. What I might do is I will take like one or two pans out just in case I need them. But then the rest is going. I'm so excited about that. Then I will show you my new product that I have. This is by FMGT. I don't know how well you can see that. It's I think a Korean brand. Yeah, made in Korea. And it's the it's the metallic cube eyeshadow in Gold Ball 01. Now this is one of those like putty textures as you can see and I didn't know that this is full of glitter. But it's super beautiful. And if you go in, you know, you swirl around. Technically, I hit pan on this as well, but given the fact that it's, it's like a putty consistency, it doesn't really count. So you can either apply it like this, or you can just tap it on, then get the glitter. I don't know how well you can actually see that. I personally prefer like this because, you know, I don't like glitter that much. This is not a normal shadow, right? It doesn't crumble and the glitter doesn't really fall onto your face. So I don't like this. This is the new shadow. I didn't know this had a lot of glitter, like I said, but I'm happy to have it. It's super cute. So it's also nice if you have like a darker shadow on and then you just tap this on and get the majority of glitter on. Beautiful. The reason why I got that glitter shadow is because I've been using this one quite a lot. This is the Catrice Space Glam Chrome Shadow in Moonlight Glow. I mean, you can see the pan in this already. And whenever I use my Nomad palette, I actually use this one to go along with it. Yes, there's still some product left. And yes, it will take me a while to use that, but I already have a backup of it as well, because this is the only single shimmer shadow I have. Now I have, now I have two, so I feel a bit more secure, if that makes sense. But like I said, I already hit pan on this, kind of. I like both of them. This is new, and this I expanded the pan, I think, I hope. I don't really remember what it looked like last month. I think I want to talk about the Coast to Coral palette by Colourpop. Again, um, I did a How Will Dust video on it. I will link it in the card. And I skipped the, the middle one because that is a like a blending shade for me because you, you would not have seen it. So I tried a tall at the keys and a tall was not for me. I took that one out. I don't like the way that looked on my skin. It made me look very sick. I didn't like it. So that is out as one shadow less in my collection, which is nice. And then <laughs> this is what the palette looks like now. Do you, do you see this? The shimmer shade? Like, do you, do you now see why I need single shimmer shades? Because I used this, I think, 16 times. And it's halfway gone already. The thing is, I have the quad here that I use. And then I use the shimmer shade on top. And I don't know what it is. I will actually film it get ready with me, you know, at the end of the week. Hopefully the shadow is still there. Because... You need to see how this works. It does not work at all. I have to go in like three times to make it look kind of shimmery. You know, like to make my eye look kind of shimmery. You do not see that on the eyes. Maybe it's the combination with the quad. Maybe it's the shadow itself. I mean, like this speaks for itself. This is almost empty. It's insane. And then I also used Crush, which is the blending shade, 15 or 16 times. You don't, you don't see anything. One shadow out of this. Then the quad. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So I use up the shimmer shade that was in here, this one, and I hit pan on these two. I don't know what's happening this month, or la you know, last month and this month combined. Like, I'm not using the glitter shade, so these are the only two that I'm focusing on, and as you can see, the pans are pretty big. Again, with 16 uses or so. They don't work well together either, so I put this one down first and this one in the crease, and I mean, you can see, I have them on right now. The eyes look not the same, right? This is darker than this, but this, this, the same products. It's just, I have such a hard time with this. 
So I'm happy with this comb actually. Two more pants and an empty. <gasps> Is that not nice? And then last but not least, the palette that I have not used that much. Um, the Nomad palette, mm -hmm. Orient Express. Oh my god. This is what that one looks like. So I used the green one a bit in a, like, on top of a nail polish. And then I'm still using these two. Um, this on the eyes itself, this in the crease, and then this as a shade. And then the rest I don't use, so I only have four shadows left. And I think I expanded the pan. I don't really remember what it looked like last month. I think the progress is there. I will struggle with this, because I... I don't know how I would incorporate the green labyrinth. There's just a tiny bit left over there on this side. I might use again as a nail polish. These, these three I'm working on very well. I use the color pop the first 15 days of the month. And then after that, the next 15 or 16 days, whatever it is, I use this. So it does get its use. Um, just not right now, but I, I am using it. And like I said, I need to come up with a way to use up the green. Maybe I can mix it with not the shadow, but then again, I don't have any of the shadows. Okay, so I think that was everything I want to talk about. I'm so shocked and surprised at the same time at the state of this. These two things. They're good for me, right? Because, you know, once I'm done with these two, this whole quad can go. It's nice to, like, if, if I can finish this palette, let's say, in a year, or in 11 months instead of a year, because this is so easy to use up, it's better for me with, with the 90 days. So, six more days, you know, of using cold pop products. Do you think this is still there? By day 15? It's just absolutely insane. Like, oh. And like I said, this is a shimmer shade. The only one that can use for because I have not done a how this video yet on these two. Someone explain to me what the hell is happening here. So that brings my total to 83 shadows. Because I've only used up two. Like I used up one completely and then I got rid of one. And yes, I have three pants. Three new pants, but I haven't used them. Hopefully next month I have some more to show. So my goal is to maybe finish this one up. Okay, like if it's not gone by the 15th, I will continue to use it to use that. And then the rest, oh, I don't have, I mean, I will do a how with this video, on this one as well. So then another goal. Yeah, on that, I don't have any goals. Maybe, I mean, expand the pen a little on this. Maybe use up the green. I have no idea. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know how your projects are going. Project pen, pen and palette, whatever it is. I'm, I'm curious to see, because I don't think I've ever had a month this good. Now, it would have been better if all the shadows would have been empty. And not only a pen, but... I'm not complaining. Like, I, I'm, I have three new pants in a month. I don't think that, this, that has ever happened before. I work my way through the palettes, and I'm so happy when I'm done with the color pop ones. The quality is good, usually, most of the time, but I, I just, you know, I have so many palettes that I got before the color pop ones, but they have to be pushed back if, because I want to do this project first. I'm just happy to see something else than a color pop palette. And honestly, I'm also happy to see something else than the Nomad palette. However, they have released a Mount Fuji palette. It's cute. It's super cute. Mm. Um, I will think about it. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you're not ready. And it's the next one.